Welcome everyone, this is going to be episode 9 of my season 2 gameplay on No Man's Land. If this is what you're looking for, please stay tuned. Alright folks, welcome to episode 9 of No Man's Land. Um, so far, the only thing I want to mention is, well, we're doing our corn harvest. Um, when this gets going, we'll get going on that. Potatoes we're going to need to do here in a bit. That might be the thumbnail, actually. Not sure, though. Uh, no upgrades to the town or any houses or anything that we're going to add in today, uh, right off the bat. Just looking through our, um, I know a lot of you guys have stuff in the comments that you guys are mentioning and stuff like that, which is great. Um, I want to say, I, I can't remember if I mentioned this or not, but Auden, Kaufman, and Rumblestrip talked about kind of the, the horsepower versus the torque of the truck, and it might have been the, the torque was the issue, not the horsepower, uh, when we were hauling up the hills over here. Uh, but anyhow, yeah, I'm working on the corn so far. We've harvested this, these just two chunks of here, and that guy's full already, and we already have 115,000 liters. 50,000 liters of that is going to get shipped over to... Um, the Arctic Wolf Logistics for everything. And I want to mention that the feed mixer that I thought would have been edited by Darren Duel was not edited by Darren Duel. That was my mistake. Uh, Darren Duel had made us... Um... Oh, gosh. What do they say to search under here? There should be some... Maybe feed? Made some edits to some feed silo. Maybe it's under silo? Hmm. Should be some feed mixers in here regardless. Um, that were edited in by Darren Duel. I'll find them at some point. There might be edits of that. I'm not sure. They are installed, allegedly. Um, I'm not sure whether I have to look at his message again and see what I was supposed to search. Um, but yeah, Deerman also recommended some mods. Deerman, actually, all your mods are already installed. Um, so those are all in here. Um, and Farmer Sparky recommended a. That's the powerful. Spot, nope, that's a uh, spot. Ooh, light, I'll pull it up, that's for sure. Um, where is it? The powerful spotlight is what he recommended. I installed it. Where is it at? Hmm. Weird, it's got to be under... Gosh, I, I can't search through everything. I have too many mods, but anyhow. Uh, so hopefully we can get that one looking for that one. But uh, yeah, I want to get that stuff figured out. But yeah, this episode, I'm not sure we're going to get done. Honestly, we got two of these guys are both full. Um, we'll get the potatoes done, hopefully. Um, I don't know how long the episode's going to be. We do need to get... Sorry, there's trucks outside my house. Hopefully you can't hear that too much. But uh, looking at our subscriber contracts here. Um, oh, gosh. Yeah, so we need to get Lucky's 50,000 liters of corn delivered, which is barely any of what we're going to get off of this field. So we'll get that delivered over to uh, Arctic Wolf Logistics. And yeah, we should be able to maybe get looking through here. Where's the other one I had on here? Uh, if I look through my, yeah, 40 grass bales and 20 straw bales. We should be able to get those to blaze at 0427, hopefully today. Uh, but yeah, we're just going to get some stuff harvesting. I did take all that manure that we made, or we, not we made, we gathered, excuse me, yesterday. Or not yesterday, but in the last episode. Um, and I brought it up here. I'm slowly getting it pushed into the VGA here. So we'll keep that going. Um, but other than that, that's kind of where we're at. I'll get uh, potatoes harvested. Actually, I'll just get, we'll just get them going with you guys in here. Let's go grab, where's he at? It's right there. Yep, there we are. Let's get this guy rolling. Actually, is my volume super far down? Yep. There, now you guys can actually hear what I'm doing. Does this guy need to be unfolded or anything? Yep, he does, okay. So we'll get him up here and start him working on the potatoes. I think it'll do the same thing with the yield. I've never harvested potatoes on, or using precision farming, I should say. So we'll get, yep, oh yeah, he's gonna have one. Lower that down. Should be harvesting potatoes, yep, okay. Beautiful. This thing has a ridiculous capacity, if you didn't know. Um, the grain giant obviously won't be able to deal with that, so we will probably want to grab a truck, actually, and get a truck out here. Oh, do those things... Yeah, those things do anything. Yeah, I was like, do those trailers hold it? But yeah, those trailers will hold anything, so we'll get a truck going on that. Let me go grab this here. There we go, perfect. 
Here we go, get those guys all unfolded. Or not unfolded, on. I can't even talk anymore. I'm serious, I just, in any episode I do have any series, I just can't talk anymore. It's over, the talking's done. Can't do it anymore. Is he blocked by something? He's helper B, isn't he? Yeah, what did he do? Oh my goodness, he drove off the cliff. Well, that'll do it. He's not blocked by any objects, he is just, let me, go and look, we're gonna F9 him right back over, there we go. <laughs> Oh, gosh. Okay, well, maybe we should do the first row. Yep, that wasn't great. That one is right on the edge there, that field, to be fair, so. We will do at least cross this portion here just to get us over the cliff. That would be super sketch harvesting that in the real world. I mean, getting these, look at these potatoes that are literally on the cliff edge. Oh boy. Oh, I gotta be careful, get over a little bit. Do not want those front tires to slip off of the cliff. And once we get down, we should be able to hire him and he should be able to keep going from there without having too many problems. So we need to get him pretty far over to be able to hit all that going back that way. Okay, and we will, maybe we'll just get him down here and then we'll just reset them ourselves, do that manually, get that going. I want to be pretty far over here. Just about like right there should be fine. You hire a worker to do that. What? You're not blocked by anything. You're literally not blocked by anything. You think that fence is in your way? Because it's not. Oh boy. All right, we'll see how it goes there. Okay, I'm sure this is going to go great, especially if that's how we're starting. But uh, yeah, so I will get potatoes done. Uh, I'll get these guys unloaded in a second. We'll get that done over there. And then how are all of our animals doing? Pigs are doing fine. They might, I mean, they could use some straw. Honestly, they could use a little TLC, That's be, to be fair. Um, they could use a little water, but nothing else. You guys need a lot of work. So I might go around and take care of some of the animals off camera. Um, that might just be what I end up getting done. You guys are here for milk production. You guys are here for being here for fun, I guess. Um, the spring is when they produce wool. I Now I'm 100% sure of that from doing what I'm doing on my other gameplay on Kleinsland. Because uh, I looked it up. And the sheep are getting... Hopefully fatter, fatter, and fatter. But yeah, anyhow. I shouldn't have bought that many sheep to be fair. Um, it was too many, but I can't remember what we paid for these guys. Whoa, what are you doing? What in the world? Oh my goodness. This guy's really struggling. All right, well, we'll finish out this row. <laughs> At least I'm paying attention to him. We'll finish out this row and start him on the next row and see how that goes. Good gravy. Goodness. I can't seem to figure out how to harvest anything. Don't think... Yeah, those are young enough that we're not going to destroy them by driving on them. And I'm hoping our... What did we plant here? Barley, was it? Wheat. Wheat. That's right, wheat. I'm hoping our wheat is going to be ready to go soon. Or at least this year, I should say. Had a struggle with it doing something similar to that in Klein's land. I was doing oats though, not wheat, but still did not work out the way I anticipated. Okay, I will work on everything we got going on. I will see you guys later on. I might work on some off-camera plowing of some fields around up here because we own all this land. This will be our first expansion. It's going to be up this way, so uh, we'll see though. I'll see you guys later on. All right, progress has been made. We delivered 50,000 liters of corn to Arctic Wolf Logistics and we made $16,917. We completed the corn harvest, as you can see here, and we are currently plowing it and we're plowing this field as well. And the potato harvest is still underway. I did buy us two new plows, each at 80 grand a pop um, or something along those lines. We bought two of the trailed, these guys, two of the Ecotil trailed which we did have to take out a small loan. We have $100,000 out uh, right now, which is okay. That will be okay, we'll get that uh, taken care of. Um, all of the animals have been cared for, so if you go on the menu here, um, the cows have been taken care of pretty much. Um, the sheep are looking good and the pigs are looking good. So, oh, and this guy is full. Let's get him unloaded real quick. Grab this guy. He missed a little row there, that's fine. Um, I'm not too worried about that. Come on, you can do it, you can do it. 
You can do it. Oh, this guy's almost full anyways. Now, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'll be completely honest. Just because of time constraints and everything, I did turn crop destruction off. Um, at least it should still be off. But yes, it is still off. So that way it'd be easier for me to unload the harvesters and stuff as I was going through the harvests. Um, and this guy's only going to take, we'll take a little bit of it here. This guy will be full in a second while we get this dumped out. And, oh. One of our trucks got back. We got all the manure unloaded. It's much later in the day. Now, I was fast forwarding time a little bit because I was waiting for something, and I'll show you that here in a second. We'll go get this guy started to unload. I'm gonna look down because those things, for whatever reason, those tank the FPS. We're fine down here. And looking at those buildings, someone said, is what basically tanks it. So we'll look down and we'll just drive past everything. So let's get all of these guys unloaded. Got a quad track pulling that little plow. That's okay, it'll be fine. And then I have our other case pulling. What is it? The case what is pulling it? The Magnum, the Magnum 400 is pulling it. Okay, truck's right over there, get, needs to be parked. We'll get these guys unloaded into here and then we'll talk about what we have in storage so far. Ooh, easy, too fast, too fast. Ooh, I was surprised that worked out as good as it did. Uh, okay. I was waiting for canola prices to go up a little bit. This one will probably pass it, but I'm pretty happy with that, and I don't want to go too far into the night. But we have 240,000 liters catola, catola, of canola, which we're going to sell. We have 416,000 liters of corn after we sold off the uh, 50,000 liters. And corn is not super valuable, so I'm going to wait. And then, as you can see here, our potatoes are going up. We're getting a lot of potatoes all from this harvest. About to finish out here. We will pull forward to the next trailer. Will we still talk about some stuff? Here we go. And then, yeah, otherwise we're doing just fine. Everything's, everything is awesome. All right, great. So, let me just get back over to here. So we're gonna sell the canola off at the garden center because that's the best price right now. Corn, gosh, what is corn gonna even get to? We don't even know 100% because obviously this is normal economy mode here and now we're in hard. Um, so everything's changed quite a bit, but the corn is going to be the big, obviously there's more expensive times. I would like to get around 500 for it, but I, I mean, this isn't realistic for us yet as we'll have to see, but we are going to sell off the canola right now because we could really use the cash. And I think it's at a good enough price that I'm happy with it. So we are going to go ahead and sell off all of our canola. I'm going to do that with you guys here because we might as well. And then I'm basically just be waiting for this guys to these guys to start taking care of some stuff. Um, he's chilling there. Where was I going to go for the truck? That's right. I'm actually going to drive this setup right here with this big trailer out to the potato harvester because this thing I know it holds 250,000 liters. So we'll get this out to the potato harvester. I'm going to try not to use this setup as much as possible, other than for just kind of bulk stuff like potatoes and stuff. But selling grains and stuff, I'm going to use our actual trailers. Um, he's completed his task which is great. I'm just going to get them to finish this, these two rows here. Because that's what we really need to get done. He's going to be full in half a second though, which is fine. I don't care about the little tidbits here and there on the field. I just mostly want to get the bulk of it done. There we go. And he's going to be full in just a second. So we'll hop in this guy and get ready to unload him. There he goes. Oop. Okay. As long as that's unloading. Perfect. Okay. Unloading, plowing, plowing, growing. And then everything yield. You can see the yield we had on a lot of the stuff on here. Uh, nitrogen is terrible on these two. That one's great. And that one's great. So these two will obviously need a lot of work. But uh, we're probably not going to end up planting anything on those ones until... If we go to our crop planter. We did potatoes, and then we're gonna do sunflowers after the potatoes looks like. So we're gonna do sunflowers in this field. We did canola and then wheat. And that was this field over here. So wheat's growing currently. Now, next year on that field, we need to know what's gonna happen. So corn, we're gonna do, that's seriously the best we can do off of that. Cotton, grass, sunflowers. We'll do sunflowers and sunflowers because that actually makes a lot of sense. And on this field, what about sunflowers? Sunflowers aren't bad actually. Poplars, grasses would be good as well though. So we could do a canola as a grass. 
that's an oil seed sorry sunflower yeah sunflowers it is we'll do sunflowers and all those now let me look actually at we got wheat growing the other thing we need to look at is let me pull up my subscriber contracts here my list so we need soy and canola canola we have oh canola fifty thousand liters of canola we need to deliver to okay we'll get that delivered while we're out and about um okay and this is basket that said plant corn in place of wheat and do wheat as a winter crop i think that's what we did up here wasn't it no we did wheat as that's right we were instead of yeah okay never mind we did do that but we didn't do that where i thought we were going to originally do it um and we have we have any that's wheat growing isn't it oh what am i doing this is not it's not going to give me what i want barley nowhere okay so we need to do barley uh, for a subscriber contract so we need to do i'm gonna actually write that down real quick barley is something we need to plan in um which is is totally fine but we need to make sure we plan it in so barley needs to be planned in and soy soy needs to be planned in we have the canola we can get that delivered and let me see if there's anything else we need to need 2400 pound pigs actually how are our pigs doing pigs where you at? Pigs. Um, oh, they're getting up there. Hopefully those guys get up there. Okay. Um, yes, yeah, so that's it. So we just need to plant soy and barley. Okay, how bad is soy on that? It's not great. How bad is barley? Barley would be okay as well after the wheat. So we could do barley on there um sunflowers works great after this they pretty much everything else pretty much tanks doesn't it? oh soy's okay after potatoes we'll do soy on that field Fifty thousand liters though i don't know if we'll hit that so we'll do after the cornfield we'll do sunflowers that makes sense do a big sunflower harvest low yield barley on the wheat field okay we'll do that i know that's not ideal to do cereals back to back but this one is bad for barley isn't it yeah that's the worst okay so um soy on that one Soy or legume. How is soy on this one? That's okay. Uh, you know what? Let's do... Yeah, no, let's do this. We'll do this. I think that'll make everything happen for us. So soy, barley, sunflowers is what we're going to focus on. Oh, this guy's got something going on here. Let's get him turned around and we'll just uh, wrap up this real quick. So that's what we need to get going. Obviously, we won't get any straw bales today, but grass bales we need to get for um blaze 0427 which we should be able to get those soon actually we might why don't we just bail some of our awkward like just our oddball grass that we have lying around let's get that contract done we might as well we might as well get that done i'll worry about cleaning up some of the other stuff that we have around but yeah let's get that done we can do that real quick i'll keep you guys in for some of the stuff i'm doing um just because i might as well but yeah we might as well just cut some of the stuff that we have lying around just kind of makes sense just kind of makes sense hire that guy to keep going for a second i'll be able to stage this guy Ooh, go faster go faster stage this guy down at the end he was stopped briefly that's okay actually we'll stage him further away than that because otherwise things will be in the way of the plow so we'll get away from the plow a little bit turn that guy off what are you doing you're not doing the right thing. Okay. Everything's lifted up. Perfect. Let's get this guy unloaded and then he'll be out of the way. Actually, it'll be fine if we just leave him sit there for a while. That'll be fine. Those guys are plowing. Okay, that's happening. Let's grab. We're not going to cut our good field. But if we go back over to this menu, we can see we have lots of grass around that is perfectly mowable. Now, I don't know if this... Will this do a swath? X to unfold the mower. Um, turn that off. Y, oh, there, yeah. Control Y. Is that usually how you do it? Left control Y. Swath dropping. There we go. What are the options? Left swath, right swath, wide spreading, yep, swath dropping. Okay, perfect. So we can just knock out some bales real quick. Oh, good. I thought that guy was plowing my grass field for a second. I was like, no! Yeah, because we can just mow right along here. Just easy peasy. 
Get some grass bales knocked out. We only need how many grass bales? Let me look at my list here. 40 grass bales. That's actually a decent amount. So we'll keep doing our thing here for a bit. Maybe come off of this a little bit. Let's stop that guy for a second. We don't, we don't have a tractor down here, do we? Let's grab the Puma. We'll dump him off for a second. Let's have you go to the mower shed. Will you be able to make it? You know where you're going? Okay. Well, let me drive. You're not going to get there. All right, let me drive there for a second. Let's get on. Okay, yeah, because we're super far away from everything. All right, yeah, we'll get them up here. You drive to the mower shed. Okay. And I don't care. We'll just leave whatever we don't end up using. We'll just leave out here to rot because we don't need to get that going that bad, really. I do like this mower. This mower's great. And it's case branded. <laughs> If you haven't seen this uh, on here yet or you're new to this series, that's a very fantastic inside joke type situation, which is fantastic. <laughs> oh, goodness. That is great. Yeah, we should be able to get plenty of grass through here. I'll just mow my way back up this way. Do not cut the wheat. Probably not good practice to run it over, but that's fine. And this should be more than enough grass to get us by, for sure. Just to be safe, we will make sure first. All right, so our session should have no... Where's our stats in here? Uh, what am I going? Here we go. All right. Created bales. So zero for the session. Eight, I can't believe 850 on this map is how many we've made. We're going to make so many more. That is so many bales. Okay, and we're definitely going to do square bales because I don't hate myself. And he doesn't specify. He needs 40 grass bales, 20. Yep, I don't think he specified. They had to be any specific thing other than... It's crazy. Of course, this guy's got hay in it. Uh, I'm actually just going to cheat a little bit here. We're going to empty this thing out because I don't want to deal with that. I know it's a waste of hay, but I don't really care that much. Okay. Here we go. We're not going to be able to hit all of it, but that's fine. This is a pretty wide swath, to be fair. We might actually have to mow a little more. We'll see, though. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, so I can do this. This is this is great. We'll get all of our bales done, which is awesome. We'll knock another subscriber contract out, which is fantastic. Always good to get our contracts out. But this way, we don't have to use any of that field, and that field can go straight into hay bales again. Should be perfect for what we need to get going. Um, and then soon we can probably buy a forage harvester if we want and we can probably start chopping it if we get it done And we honestly could chop all this too if we wanted to but I want to make all this a field at some point How good are we doing right now five bales? Okay, not great. I count one two three four five six seven This is getting ready to drop out. Yeah, we probably gonna have to keep going a little bit more grass. That's okay. Surprised I extremely Underestimated or overestimated? Underestimated. Uh, overestimated. Overestimated the amount of hay that was here. Yeah, overestimated. That's correct. That's the correct thing I'm trying to say. Or the amount of grass, I should say. Sorry. But, yeah, we're making progress. There's not like a bale counter up there. Is No, okay, there's not. There is a mod for that. I just don't have it installed. Yeah, you guys seem to be enjoying this series. You guys are loving Kleinsland. Good gravy. That's the most popular episode one I've ever had of a series uh, in that short amount of time. Um, I think episode one of No Man's Land season one has the most views for any episode one ever on my series. I think it's close to 100,000 views. But um, that one just did fantastic. You guys love, love that series so far. You guys seem really into it, which is super different than any other series I've ever done. So I guess I could see why you guys would uh, really like that one. But yeah. Okay, well... We made some progress. I want to go sell our canola, though, because I want to make actually some, like, legit money here. Obviously, we have plenty of grass. We own all this. So 
um, we will get more than enough to take care of everything we need to take care of. But uh, right there, there's the truck. And we will load up. Actually, that's just, we're gonna have to take a second trip anyway. So let's do right alt L and let's set this to 50,000 liters because then we can dump that off to Arctic Wolf Logistics and that'll be really good for us to get that taken care of. Beautiful, okay. So we'll sell the first trailer off at the garden center and I'm hoping we get this up to Arctic Wolf Logistics without any problems. Actually, you know what? We might even just take the uh, back route-ish uh, way to get there just to make it a little bit easier on us. I don't have to worry about climbing up any hills with this thing. Yeah, this should work just fine. Can we stop at the garden center first? Uh, no, we'll take the back way and then we'll come down to the garden center from there. You'll kind of, it'll all make sense in a minute. We're gonna go right this way. Instead of going through town, this way seems to work a lot better. At least in general, it seems to work fine. And I don't know what the uh, payout is for Arctic Wolf Logistics contract, but they wanted this kind of one to prove ourselves. So there was no like bonus on top of the sale point or anything like that. We just get what we get and we'll just not throw a fit about it. Yeah, even coming up around this kind of like weird mountain path thing seems to work out pretty good. Here's Diz, Diz's place, Diz Farmers. Like it, dig it. I mean, we do lose speed coming up this way, but I didn't have any issues pulling manure up this way, given that was only one trailer, so we'll see. You can do it. There we go. We're accelerating, that's a good sign. I did have to cut that a little bit, but that's okay. Cut that corner, I should say, not cut anything else. Just that corner. Make it around here. Fantastic, we're doing good, doing good, everyone. And once we're here, we're basically home free. So this part, we shouldn't have any issues navigating. I'm gonna start turning early, otherwise I'm gonna lose control of it on that turn. I don't wanna do that. But yeah, this, these little hills right here, nothing. Oop, other than that one that we just jumped on. One we shouldn't have any issues on, other than jumping it. <laughs> okay, Arctic Wolf Logistics is right here. So we'll pull in here. And we will unload our rear trailer right here. Here we go. Let's see how much we make. And then we should have still a little bit of canola left. Yep, 80,000 liters left. So small trailer load up in there, which we might as well just grab our... Well, I do want to use these guys. We'll probably dump one of the trailers off. There's no sense in driving two trailers around when you don't need to have it driven around. 31,000 to 11. That's pretty good. We'll take that. That's for sure. All right, let's go get this 110,000 sold off. We should be able to head up over on that road and then head down. It's easier to go down in town than it is to kind of come up from town, I think. Loop around here. We actually have a lot of digestate here. Probably we need to come pick up and haul away. How much do we have right now? Curious. 85, okay, not too bad. Again, it's still digesting some of that manure, but you need to come pick that up. And then we probably want to try, start trying to use, since it's early autumn, I think we can probably throw a digestate down in this field and this field, just because that'll help us uh, save money for one on fertilizer and two, that we'll start using some of the digestate that we have. So I'll probably just go out there with the big one and just try to get it just hammered out as fast as possible. Where are those trees? What in the world? What's going on with those trees? What in the name of goodness is in these trees? I think someone hung up a bunch of carpets on them. That's interesting. Well, okay. There you have it. Some weird tree things are going on, I suppose. 
might want to call the police and have them take a look at that and if someone vandalize those poor trees oh goodness okay we'll drive down here at garden center which is uh actually it's diz's and uh, ome's uh, garden center down here well it's their manure shop more or less it's their where they sell their manure and worms and whatnot and ignore the floating signs they're fine they're floating so they're safe for me that's why they're floating <laughs> they know i would try to hit them so they decided to float oh oh no 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 okay i think down this way let's confirm that that's still the good price yeah, garden center Let's make sure yep okay it is that one right there drive around their piles of manure to get in here to sell stuff so we just have the one trailer so it should be too big of a deal okay and we can probably untag that as well i don't know what we got up at arctic wolf logistics for price actually i probably should just find out what do we have what's the name of that sell point up there the grain masters let's look at that what was that one well 624 so not too much different yeah so it wasn't that big of a difference there but i will say this we're gonna be able to pay off our loan right away which will be nice and there we go 70 grand from harvest income we will repay that entire loan real quick fantastic and i'll go get another load and sell it off um but yeah i think i'll put a break in here what I'm going to get done, I'll finish up these grass bales up here. I'll bring you guys back in when we're going to go pick them up, probably, after I get 40 done and once we get some of the plowing done. And I might do some digestate off camera. I might save that for next episode. But, um, yeah, I'll see you guys here in just a little bit. All right. Welcome back, everyone. Good to see you guys. Um, we're making progress. This is what's left here to do. The bales are ready. So we're going to deal with those. I did sell the rest of the canola. Got us another 51 grand. So we're sitting pretty good, 90 grand. Um, yeah, that's actually pretty good after I mean we spent $160,000 on plows today If you really look at it that way, but oop, nope We'll see how the puma does pulling <clears throat> pulling all the grass bales away, but um, Yeah, we'll see what happens. So And actually I don't even know where we're gonna take these to sell these yet, but we'll figure that out And we're not gonna be able to get, oh geez Louise we're Not gonna be able to get them all done in one load this, that really couldn't have gone more poorly. Jeez. It's slowly working its way out. Just keep going. Just keep going. <clears throat> yep. Just keep going. Okay. We go straight for a second. Will it do it? Almost. Oh, come on. Get out of there. Yep. Almost free. Almost free. And okay, we're about to get another. Are you kidding me? We can't get another one. Another one stuck under there. Pick it up. All right, thank you. Okay, back to work. Let's get these done. Boom. We definitely had to bail more area than I thought, but I mean that I mean, doesn't really matter. Again, it doesn't matter. There's so much area that we could have bailed, so. Really not a big deal at all. What's sad is we're gonna have to do more than one load. To get all 40, but we can make it happen. This will be our first, uh, well, one of our first, right? First complete, completely complete subscriber contract done, I believe. First one that we've like, well, no, because we're not gonna be completed with it. We still gotta do straw bales. Huh, we still haven't completed any subscriber contracts. <laughs> it is much harder to complete subscriber contracts, to be fair, uh, in seasons. So that is true. I didn't do any of the slurry yet. I will get all the slurry in done um, in the next episode. Uh, probably off camera, but I'm trying to record episode 9 and 10. Um, almost back to back, so yeah. I'm just trying to make it work the best I can. This trailer is massively, ridiculously long, but I love it. Grab that one. There we go. That one. A second to catch up there there we go but yeah this series i'm not sure i mean i don't know how long i'll have this i'm not gonna have this series run 100 episodes season two is not gonna be 100 episodes most likely not anyways um but it also could be the one series we keep from fs19 going when fs22 comes out but also i'm not sure if i want to do that yet so it just kind of depends we'll just kind of see 
If we're at an area where we can conclude it, we'll conclude it. But otherwise, you know, we'll kind of find out what's going on. Um, part of me wants to say, oh, well, let's keep it going until uh, No Man's Land comes out on Farming Simulator 22. Because it likely will come out on Farming Simulator 22 at some point. But at the same time, I don't... I mean, that's... Who knows when it could, it could be a year into it. And that would be... I mean, that'd be crazy to keep doing this from there. But I don't know. And I know a lot of people still be playing Farm Sim uh, 19 too for a while, probably after the game comes after if FS 22 comes out. So it's tricky, tricky to decide what to do. Grab this one, and then we need just one more, and then yeah, one more, and then we'll be full for this load. And then we got to decide where we're gonna take these to sell these. Now, yes, they're for a contract. We do get paid 10 percent above market value on this contract, so we will take whatever we make and we'll add 10% to it, but we do need to decide what we're going to do, where we're going to go. We'll fold that up. Let's take a look at prices for grass. Oh, wait a second. It's going to, no, no, it has prices, prices in here. It's this, this first one, right? Well, the BG, the BGAs are the best anyways for grass, unless that's grass. No, that's straw because grass, we don't have any grass in the stylus. So this is grass. So either BGA will be fine. I'm pretty sure that's the one that's closest to us. Um, well, we won't take it to the BGA because, well, that doesn't make any sense, actually. So tag that FCS sell point right there. Will that one take it? Let's tag that one. That's this for 30. I mean, 30 versus 33. Let's just take it to that closest one. That just kind of makes sense. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry, I don't know what's wrong with my throat. I had a wonderful dinner. I just uh, finished eating some might be Might be why my throat's a little messed up, but... And all this other grass will just kind of rot away, so I'm not worried about that, but... You know, I had a sirloin steak grilled up. Nice and fantastically seasoned by myself, and... Uh, I also had uh, macaroni and cheese. Good good mac and cheese and steak, and... Had a real sugar... A Coca-Cola made with real sugar. The good ones. And the ones there are the ones that come in the glass bottles. But yeah, fantastic. Okay. Is it clear over there? Is that... It's not... It's not Martin's... Uh, it's not Swede Feed. It's not Martin's uh, shop. It's the one behind that looks like. So we'll get these over there. We'll see how much we're going to make. I mean, actually, it'll probably be a... Well, it won't be a decent amount. What, 100 bucks a bale? So 3200 bucks, 3400 bucks probably. My guess is 3400 bucks for this. So we'll add an extra 340 on top of that. Oh, he actually turned around. He got stuck at the other end here a little bit right before I brought you guys in. I guess he didn't get everything, but he's doing good. He's doing good. He's been at it for a while. That thing's almost out of gas, actually. I need to get that fixed up at some point again. Oh, is it further away than I'm thinking it is? The one I tagged? Oh, no, it's up this way. I was looking at the blue great demand on the screen. But yeah, it's over at the Farmer Cop Supply. Okay, we'll get ready to unload these guys. It's kind of fun to see the... Well, we'll tag that, untag it. All right, here we go. Are you kidding me? It should take it. I lose my mind here. It says it takes it. I wish I could just fold that down, but I can't. What? Are you kidding me? It should take these guys. What's going on with it? Does it only take it loose? That shouldn't be the case. Where is that at again? Unbelievable. Well, we are at... Uh, this one right there. Tag it again. We're on top of it. Wow. Well, why is that not working then? Oh, boy. I wish I could get rid of those bales easily, but I can't. All right. Well, we're going to have to pick them up and move them. Well, that's kind of a pain in the butt. I wonder why that didn't take them. It's so odd. It should have just taken them. Well, we will take them up to... The only problem is I have to sit here and load them all again. 
Ah, wish it was like an auto load trailer that they just jump onto the trailer type type of situation, but not quite that. Oh, do it with that. Don't grab one yet. Give it a second to settle. There. Oh no, there it's fallen. Oh, there they go. <laughs> oh, could you imagine? So many bales. Oh, that one's gonna be a bit of a pain. We're gonna have to get that one first. I'm gonna get the rest of them. There we go. Sorry, I didn't mean for this to be this chaotic. Well, the other eight I'll probably sell off camera then, but let's at least get, I mean, we gotta get some success here. Let's at least get these ones sold off. Gosh, that's ridiculous. But we'll have to just take them up to, I know the vehicle shop grains will take them, but well, what else is there? The BGA, the straw barn. Oh, they'll take them for 30. Let's take it there. Vehicle shop grains isn't paying too well. And I'll be out that way. So we'll try the straw barn. I'm sure the straw barn's got to take them. There's no way it's not going to. If it doesn't, I'll be even angrier. <laughs> and it's not like I got the symbol wrong for grass either, and I'm looking at the wrong thing because it's, it's showing that it's going to take grass, straw, and hay, and all that stuff. So who knows what's going on with it. See if we can grab that one real quick. Nope, guess not. Okay, fine. Jeez. There's some unruly bales. There we go. Come on now. Oh, so much. It seems like it takes so much longer when they're all literally right here. You're just waiting for them to get loaded back up. That's pretty much what we're doing for the most part, is just waiting for them to get all loaded back up here. Come on now. You bales can do it. Here we go. We're getting there. We got four, five, six more here. And three more back there. Here we go. And pop that one. Speed! Speed! <laughs> I need like one that just goes like just unrealistically fast. No, it's okay. This is fine. I mean, 98% I, of the time, 99% of the time, it doesn't matter the speed because you're just out in the field. And it really doesn't slow you down that much, but this is the one time where it does. Let's see if we can get angled over more. Okay, now we should be able to grab these guys without any problems. The final two. And there we go. Okay. Off we go to the straw barn. We'll try that one, which is straight that way. I'm just going to drive off road. I don't care anymore. We're just going for it. I'm actually going to have you start preparing yourself to unload because we're going to just dump them off very quickly once we get there. And this better work. Otherwise, I will just <laughs> do it off camera and figure out what happened. Oh, gosh. I don't know why it's having such an issue. Can you imagine driving this tower around? Those bales are massive. Bales are massive. I mean, this isn't a real trailer, but it's all still awesome. So as you can see, it's not, hydraulics aren't really connected. <laughs> They're just kind of floating, but I love it. Okay. Now the question here is, which one of these is the cell point? Is it this one? At least we can push him back. Okay, that didn't work. Push him back. Please start selling. Please start selling. Please start selling. Oh, they're selling. Oh, gosh. They're selling. They're selling. They're selling. Our... Oh, gosh. Just fold this thing up. Look at this. Just chaos. Okay, well... So I had the place wrong for that one, but that's okay. How can I not get off of this, though? There we go. Come on. There we go. Another one sold off. So 123. I'm going to have to multiply that out because I lost it here. Come on, get it off the building. There we go. Okay, Darren Dole, you're going to have to look away here in a second because we're just going to flip on some super strength here. <clears throat> one must be for loose. One must be for bales. That must be what it is. Okay, so let me use my handy dandy calculator here. 
So 123, right? So we got times 32 bales. So $3,900 times 0.1. So the extra we get is 393.6. So we'll round that up to 394. All right. There we go. 40 grass bales have been shipped. We'll say just for role play aspects, this is where we're supposed to drop them off and they'll get shipped from here. But yeah, that is the end of the episode, folks, after that disaster there. Um, I hit cruise control. There we go. Go, go, go. All right. Anyhow. If you guys enjoyed this episode, drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and watching.